Oxnard by Anderson Pack. Since the release of Malibu in 2016, Anderson Pack has been working with Dr. Dre to craft a new album. Originally titled Oxnard Ventura, the album's two singles in early 2018 didn't make the album. With Dr. Dre in his corner, is Pack ready to take the world by storm? Here's our honest review of Oxnard by Anderson Pack. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Anderson Pack. Oxnard. Yes, sir. We've been waiting for this all year. Yes, we have. We've been waiting for this since Malibu. Yes, we've been waiting for 2016. So mm-hmm. two years, man, waiting for this Oxnard album. How do you feel about this album artwork? It's cool. Um, I really didn't think it was like really much to look at, but I do like the the way it's kind of like you know tucked in the smoke kind of feel, and it's it's just like I didn't really care for all the like just the images I guess or whatever. It's just him and all the images, but it's okay. It's nothing really special, but it's cool. Yeah, uh, I mean it's cool. I mean Oxnard is where he's from. Yeah. Uh, I didn't get the where I'm from vibe on the album cover, but I guess this is like all his favorite things or some shit. Like you know, could be. Yeah. I, I don't know, but I mean it's it's a cool album cover. I I think it's okay. I mean it's not gonna sell albums. I don't think it's not as like dope as the collage that Malibu and Venice's album yeah. covers were. I yeah. mean it, it looks like he kind of went with that a little bit, just went with the smoke. Yeah. But it's you know it's a far cry from that. The flow of this album, man. The flow of this joint is a mixture of like R&B, speeding up tempo, slowing down the tempo. I'm getting into the rapping, and then he has some dope features on here. Some of the songs give you an old school feel. You know what I'm saying? Like Tent and uh, uh what's the joint called? Um, the joint with Snoop. What is it called? Anywhere. Anywhere. Mm-hmm. Those two joints. They got really old school feel to it. Yeah. Everything else kind of like varies it's kind of like the whole project is somewhat of a roller coaster ride in a sense yeah it's definitely a like you know just a laid back old school kind of like vibe that you get kind of like a funky vibe especially with the beginning like the first five six tracks just really gives you a little funky and raw california vibe i guess you could say so i guess in that respect for it being called oxner it kind of gives you that feel of i guess where he's from and everything like that even though it's not like a coming of age or roots kind of story I guess you kind of get that element of where he's from and you know I guess it's just him crafting stories of like you know how he felt back then so that flow is kind of cool because you kind of get the dope features mixed in with his um singing and art and singing and rapping and everything like that so it was pretty dope what's your highlights man my highlights would have to be tense of course like I have to say that because tense is just it just goes hard um I actually really like Six Summers. Like, I just like the whole progression of of it. Yeah, I actually like both of them. They're really, really cool to me. Like, at first, I was just like, yo, what is this? But I guess in the context of, like, coming after Who Are You and then going right into Savory's Road, I like that, like, just those transitions. Um, Brothers Keeper, I actually thought was really, really dope. And actually because they had a dope verse from Pusha T., Usually Crazy. I'm usually I'm hard on Pusha D like for no reason. I know y'all don't like when I Why talk he ain't give us a woo. Hey, 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 give us because nah, he said some stuff that I, I just did. knew it was about to come right after. Right, but like I just like the fact that we kind of got like a real deep Pusha T verse. Like just really or something about him that was really really dope. Um, anywhere I like the vibe of the song. Like I feel like just with Snoop Dogg starting it and just going through there just give you a really really dope funky vibe trippy with j cole at first i wasn't feeling it but the more i listened to it i got into it really really more and cheers was a dope way to um honor mac and just like anybody who you lost or anything like that like it didn't really sound somber it sounded like an uplifting song so that's really like i really love that type of dedication song because it really was uplifting and it went out on a high note you ain't gonna talk about sweet chick that left or right Oh yeah, and the bonus track. Yeah, yeah, the sweet chick was. Yeah, I forgot about the bonus track. Sweet chicks was dope. Um, I love how uh, BJ came in because like it's just something about when BJ comes in on those hook. Well, not even a hook. He came in on the verse and he just came in and killed it. You know, and I I I can't wait to our BJ project. But yeah, that song was dope. Highlights, man. 
I'm not going to skip Sweet Chick. I'm going with Sweet Chick <laughs> first. I love that joint. The beat is amazing. The beat is hard. I love how it, it, it's kind of like uh, his version of, say, Girls, Girls, Girls. Mm, uh, like, yeah. you know, where he kind of talks about all these different types of chicks he got. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the ghetto chick was funny because she came she, in the studio. Yeah. And was about to kill his other yeah. chick. You got a chick that don't. They don't cut under the, arms? Under arms. <laughs> yeah, so she about to kill her. I like that skater chick one. He was yeah, talking yeah, about the one that go on the Comic Con. <laughs> that was that, funny. That was dope. Uh, definitely Sweet Chick is one of my highlights. Tense is amazing with Kendrick Lamar. Yes. It's, it's just got this old school, like 90s, 80s feel for the for the beat and the vibe of the song. Love the song. Yeah. Uh, Six Summers, I like the second part of it. Okay. The first part okay. of it, I was just like, it's cool, but the second part of it is um, better. Okay. Uh, Smile and Petty, I like the way they transition those songs together. Yeah. Brothers Keeper with Pusha T. Oh my God, y'all just gotta listen to that. Pusha yeah, T's man. verse, he had me, uh, he had me spazzing out. Yeah. Uh, Anywhere is definitely one of those dope odes to like a lot of old school songs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you need a fix, and uh, it, it's just, just listen to it. You'll, you'll catch all of the little, you know dedications to the oldest older school songs and it's really dope and then trippy with j cole is definitely hands down one of my highlights i love that song yeah uh j cole is just all over the place man he just he's dropped killing the video it, with money bag yo killing like, all the features he's everywhere man the, the, and then uh those are my highlights now let's go into the low lights i know this may sound weird but i feel like marsha should have been on this album okay explain I, I, she just when Dr. Dre is usually involved, mm-hmm. he usually brings Marsha in. And, like, just imagine if, like, BJ and Marsha were doing, like, something on that hook with Anderson Pack on yeah. Sweet Chick. I that would have sounded crazy. If you would have put Marsha on Cheers, that would have sounded crazy. Mm-hmm. I just I just wish Marsha was on there. And uh, aside from that, I didn't like Who, Who Are You. I wasn't really feeling that at all. Okay. The first part of Six Summers, I wasn't feeling at all. Uh, but it ended up turning itself around. And then... Uh, left to right i just felt like the placement of that was really weird i understand it's a bonus track but i felt like it should have been somewhere in the middle of the album and i do feel like he could have took a song off and replaced it with bubbling especially like who are you yeah. if you take tense and then put bubbling right there in between tense and six summers i it feel like fire. that's perfect fit for it but that's just me okay well, the only low lights I have is uh, kind of how like the album started with the chase and the hit low. I thought it was great. Like I love the sound, but I feel like it kind of went left after that kind of introduction because the chase sounded like it was about to be some epic storytelling crap, like Absolutely. for real. But then it got into head low, and while it was like a funny song, it really didn't continue the vibe that the chase started with. I do like how that skit went into tense though. Yeah, that was pretty cool. It was really smooth. Um, Mansa Musa, I like the song, but I don't love it. I don't think it was like the greatest collaboration between him and Dre. I thought it was cool, but I didn't really think like it was just needed to be on the album that well. And left to right, I could do without that. I, I really, I don't even want it in like the beginning or anything like that because I just didn't really feel like it fit the context or the mood of the album. Final thoughts. Look, I like this Oxnard album. I don't feel like it's better than Malibu. Malibu was just special. It it just hit all of the right buttons at the right time, all the right guest appearances. Even though he used a lot of the same people yeah. on this, you know, he went and uh, you know, got Kendrick again. Yeah, he got BJ because if I'm not mistaken, yeah, BJ, BJ was on, on the, the waters. Last one. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, he got uh, J Cole because J Cole, no, J Cole, no, J. Cole was wasn't on the last one. I'm tripping. Mm-hmm. Well, either way, it's got some of the same vibes. Like you can tell, Anderson Pack is extremely talented, man. Like yeah. his writing ability is really good. He he sounds like a damn singing preacher. Like the way his voice comes across <laughs> to me, he's preaching and it yeah. sounds good. Like the way his voice sounds, like yeah. especially when you add that yes, Lord, in there. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's so dope, and I really appreciate everything Anderson Pack brings to the industry. Yeah, I feel like you know, while trying not to compare it to Malibu, it, it stands out in its own right because you know it's kind of like we get the funky, fun kind of like. I feel like he was rapping on this more than he was in Malibu too. So I kind of feel like in that respect, it kind of holds its own as a project. I tend to favor Malibu more, but I do like what he did with Oxner. I feel like it shows us another volume of his artistry. And I think that it's still a good, good project. Final grades, man. I get his joint to check. Uh, you, you got 
some songs that are just some straight smashes like tense tipsy anywhere brothers keeper like he's got some joints up here that's gonna rock out yeah. for at least six summers <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know like he said uh i like it i like anderson pack yeah man i give it a check um because no matter what he delivered some quality music and i think that's just what it is man anderson pack continues to deliver when it comes to whatever he's crafting i feel like when i listen to him i get in the vibe that he's in because he's just so positive and cheerful even when he's talking about something that like you know is kind of sad like on cheers it's just that just that vibe that he gives off is just really really dope when you listen to music because you need that kind of feeling from the artist that you love listening to yes lord yes lord 